Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to use bond energies to calculate the energy change for a chemical reaction. This can look quite tricky, but I'll show you a method that always works. We've seen that some reactions are exothermic. Remember that in exothermic reactions, energy is transferred from the chemicals to the surroundings. This means that in exothermic reactions, energy changes are shown as negative. That's because energy has been transferred from the chemicals. In endothermic reactions, the chemicals gain energy from the surroundings. So endothermic energy changes are shown as positive to show that energy has been gained. In this video, we're going to see how we can calculate energy changes. And to do this, we need to look at the idea of bond energies. When we break a chemical bond, this requires energy and is endothermic. Making bonds releases energy and is therefore exothermic. Every chemical bond has an energy value and this tells us the energy required to break that bond. So we're going to start by looking at a sample question. Hydrogen plus chlorine produces hydrogen chloride. Here's the balance symbol equation. We're going to calculate the energy change for this reaction. To do this, we need two pieces of information, and both of these are given in the exam. First, we need the structures of the molecules involved. That way, we can see all the different bonds. So, here are the structures. Secondly, we need to know the energy value for each bond. So, here they are. We now need to look at the reaction. On the left-hand side, we're breaking chemical bonds. So, these bonds are being broken. On the right hand side, we're making chemical bonds, so this bond is being made. We now need to put the energy values in. Breaking the bond between the hydrogen atoms requires 436 kilojoules per mole. Remember that breaking bonds is endothermic, so energy is gained. That means we need to write a positive sign. So here's the value for breaking that bond. Breaking the bond between the chlorine atoms requires 242 kilojoules per mole. And again, this needs a positive sign. So here's that value. If we add these values together, we get plus 678 kilojoules. This is the total amount of energy needed to break all of these chemical bonds. On the right hand side, we're making the bond between the hydrogen and the chlorine atoms. This releases 431 kilojoules per mole. So here's that value. Now you'll notice that we're actually making two molecules of hydrogen chloride, which means that we're making two lots of this bond. So we need to multiply this value by two. This gives us a total value of 862 kilojoules of energy by making these bonds. Remember that making bonds releases energy. In other words, it's exothermic. This means that energy leaves the reaction. So we need to put a negative sign in front of this value. And here it is. Now we're ready to calculate the final energy change for the reaction. It's very straightforward. Simply move the right-hand value beneath the left-hand value like this, and then carry out the sum. So we've got 678 minus 862, which gives us a final energy change of minus 184 kilojoules. This shows us that this reaction is exothermic. Hopefully you're getting the idea that this is actually fairly straightforward. In the next video, I'll give you a couple more examples to try yourself.